हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन सी आई टेल यू गुड मॉर्निंग हाँ तो मैं बहुत रोज तो हमारी आफ्टर नून पर मैडम भी तो मॉर्निंग है जो ही नहीं हमें मॉर्निंग ना वीडियो बना दी बिकॉज़ यू विल थिंक मैडम तो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग कर रहे थे है ना हाँ ना वेरी सोन स्कूल्स आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हाँ बंदा नोट स्कूली करो मंडो फटाफट ओके पेज नंबर I think I already explained you in school and again I am explaining you. What was important chapter? Shi? That's why. Okay. Now these are tenses. Future tense. Simple. Continuous. Perfect. Perfect. Continuous. Here. Read the sentences given below. Neha will go for a picnic tomorrow. The bus will leave for Chandigarh soon. My parents will attend the function tomorrow. The verbs in the given sentences are in the simple future tense. Now, simple future tense. The simple future tense is used to indicate an action that yet, that is yet to take place. Hmm? The verbs will and shall are used with the root verb to indicate an action in future tense. It is first one. See example. Laura will buy a new dress for the party. Will buy. With I and we, the word shall is generally used. I shall fly to Chennai tomorrow. We shall go for a picnic very soon. The simple future tense is used to express what we think or know will happen in future. You will succeed in your mission. To describe things that will happen as a regular phenomena. Or as a habitual thing, the maid will come in the evening to describe the result of some action. If you are not cautious while playing basketball, you will hurt your knee. To talk about some definite action expected to take place in future, the school will reopen tomorrow. Will is also used when we decide to do something at a time of speaking. I will bring some water for you. The forms of simple future tense. In positive statements, we write will or shall plus root form of the verb. Now I shall, we shall. Okay? You will, you will. He, she, it will and they will. Okay? Here. We will look after your pet well. I will miss her after she leaves. Mahesh will be back for dinner. This I have filled for you, so you will also fill. Now, in negative sentences, negative means no. How we will use? We use not after shall or will. I shall not meet you here. They will not go on a pilgrimage. He will not be present today. We will not join yoga classes. Short forms of shall not is chant or will not is won't may be used. In interrogative sentences, we write will or shall plus subject plus root form of the verb and a question mark. Interrogative means question. Will she water the plants? Question mark. Shall I water the plants? Question mark. Okay, here will plus subject plus root form of the verb. Children, you have to learn them. Root form, then past tense and past participle is very very important. Okay. Now, when interrogative sentences begin with question words like when, how, where, we write question word plus will, shall, plus subject, plus root form of the verb, plus whatever is left and the question mark. When will she bring the books? Question mark. This I have filled for you children. Here what you will do? The dogs you have to change into negative. So, there is no space. You know how we write in class, no? The dogs will not guard the house. This is negative. Now, will the dog guard the house? Will the dogs guard the house? Question mark. The policeman will not arrest the criminals. Will the policeman arrest the criminals? Question mark. This I have filled for you. Now, this is future continuous tense. How will we use? The future continuous tense expresses an action. That will be going on at some time in the future. He will be performing on stage next Saturday. Ruchi will be going to the mall tomorrow. 
future continuous tense is also used to show something that will take place in the future as a matter of routine or as planned or as a hap happening or as a planned happening sorry father will be returning home from office at 6 pm now this forms no children learn by heart form will be will be or shall be plus ing form of the verb now whenever there is an ing form of the verb that means root form first that plus ing now going to form this form is used to show a person's intention or to show that there are indications that something is going to happen in future. They are going to visit the red fort. I am going to buy a new mobile. It is going to be sunny today. It is going to rain today. Now children, last page, this I will explain you and then there will be video too. Okay? See, I it will be raining heavily in Shimla during winter. Snowing it is, sorry, not raining. The future continuous tense will be plus root form of the verb plus ing. The birds will be migrating. Here I have written for you. Now here in negative sentences, not is added before the first part of the verb. Will or shall plus not be plus ing form of the verb. I shall not be going to the market. We shall not be packing our bags before evening. Hmm? In interrogative sentences, interrogative means questions. Will or shall is put before the subject. Will they be going to the market? Question mark. Will he be waiting for you at the station? Question mark. Okay. Short forms may also be used. We can write will not as want and shall not as shan't. These answers are written for you. You have to fill them. Now, shall is used with I and we and mostly in question forms. When we use shall or, or shall we or shall I, we make a suggestion hmm, to or ask for suggestion. Shall we leave now? Shall I get your medicines? The future perfect tense. The future perfect tense expresses an action that will be over at a given point of time in future. I will have finished this novel by evening. The bridge will have been repaired by next week. Now forms of future perfect tense. In positive sentences we write will have, shall have plus past participle form of the verb. The teacher will have checked the papers by next weekend. In negative, how do you do not is added before the first part of the verb. We write shall will plus not plus have plus past participle form of the verb. Okay children, this next I will teach you in video 2. Bye everybody.